So um, I am going to demonstrate on how to do your laundry using an automatic washing machine. So we have here a top load washing machine which I am going to use in um, washing linens such as a blanket and bath towels. So to begin with, um, you need to make sure that the washing machine is already plugged in and the, your um, faucet is on for your water, for your water supply in this. Okay, so um, what I'm going to uh, wash today, uh, if you can see, is um, this basket of laundry which consists of colored linens. So there are no um, white linens on this. So if uh, you're doing the laundry, make sure to separate the white from the colored ones or from the darker shades. So first is I am going to put this one into the machine. And also, before you start using your appliance, make sure that you clean it first. So for this one, I have already wiped it clean before I started using it. So after you put your washing inside, make sure that it's not, um, it's not really full. So as for your machine to function properly. So don't overload your machine. So after that, we put the detergent in this dispenser, as you can see here. So that's the dispenser for the detergent, and this one is for the softener. Now, it is not advisable to use the softener if not needed, but um, so for this one, I, I am going to use a softener for it. So um, you can see this is what I'm going to use. Uh, it's a liquid soap, which is intended for a top load machine, this one. So um, also... It is actually ad not advisable to use liquid um, soap as much as possible. We need to use the powder one for our um, for the safety of our environment. But for this uh, demonstration, I'm just going to use this uh, liquid soap as intended for this machine. So you have to also follow because um, there would be like measurement there inside, like the, just the maximum um, mark on how much detergent you can put in it. Okay. And then afterwards, um, I'm going to put the softener on the other side of the dispenser. Okay, now that we have already put the soap, the liquid soap, and the softener in our um, in this dispenser, we can now push it close, okay, and then close the lid of the machine or the cover, and then we put the store, the power here. Okay, and then if you can see, there are different wash cycles in here. Um, there is a bedding, rinse and spin, echo top clean. Um, the normal, super clean, and the quick wash. So basically for this one, what I'm just going to use is the quick wash, wash wash cycle. And then um, if you can see on this other side here, there is the water level here which will be automatically selected by the machine depending on the amount of washing um, that the machine can weigh and then there is also this rinse the wash time which was already um, Pre-selected when you uh, chose the quick wash cycle the rinse time the spin time and then here we have here this um, This special function which is the intensive wash and the air turbo so for this one you can also notice that we have here um, a display for how much time the washing will take so for this uh, all we have to do is to just press start and then we can already wait okay um, we need to wait 
because the machine will still weigh the uh, amount of washing inside. And then it will show you there how much time you need to wait up until the cycle is done. So if you can see there, it's already starting to it's weighing the amount or the it's uh, checking the weight for it to select which water level it needs. Okay, so for this, it may take a couple of minutes before it actually starts. So there you go. Um, you can now see that the soap is being dispensed there. And then that is now the time that we need to wait. So it says there 43 minutes. And as you can see there, there is the signal here of um, the wash cycle being started. So this one is the indicator for the rinse and this one is the indicator for the spin cycle. So that's about it. Um, we just basically need to wait until the wash cycle is done for after like 43 minutes. And then it actually would, um, this, this kind of machine would actually um, have the sound for you to know if the washing is already done. Then you can go back to the machine and then just get them and hang them outside. Okay, so that's about it. That is my demonstration on how to do your laundry using this top load washing machine. Thank you.